Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Repton 3. I'm New Intet there. Now this is the last episode of the game, and it's called Finale, aptly enough. So let's get started. Oh, look, Daigle Green Eggs and kind of dog monsters. I'm not going to comment on them. A little bit better than the bat-eared ones, but uh, yeah, enough said really. So, the monsters on the start of this level, very simple to deal with. Get them out of the way. And we pop down to the bottom section, where we can see we'll have to deal with some spirits. And there's a special way to get into here, so that we don't have to wait for them to go around the whole level before going to the cages which are right next to them. You pass the diamonds here, go under the rock, and block it off, so they only have to go around this small area to go into the cages. And yeah, watch out so we don't get hit by the spirit. So the first level of this, obviously, is like the first level of any of the episodes, it's going to be pretty easy. Wrapped on Jeff that, get the crown. Yeah, so as I was saying, the first level is going to be pretty easy, and then we'll ramp up the difficulty to the last level. So, uh, yeah, leave that, it's looking a bit dangerous. We'll go around the other way. Nice empty cave to, uh, to let us believe this thing is going to be nice. We'll go into those two boulders there, which we can't get back out that way. You can go out the top here, that's easy. The last area of this level, we've just got to collect these diamonds and watch out for the boulders. Obviously enough. And they give us a time capsule there. We really don't need it. I'm not quite sure what those walls are supposed to be there. They look like bank vault doors or something. So, uh, moving on to the next level. Now, you see the time bomb right at the beginning of here. And, uh, yeah, we clear that area out there. So that when we get the key, the spirits have easy access to that cage up there. I want to make sure they have easy access to the cage down there too. And we've got to drop these boulders in the right way so we can get through and back out again. Because down in this bottom area here, we have most of the spirits. We need one out here. And forget about him for the moment. He'll find his way. We just clear the way for this cage. transporting down to that area in a little while, so make sure we can get out of there. Come back in here to release the rest of the spirits, and make sure we don't block ourselves in with these boulders. It's quite easy to do if you're not being careful enough. We just let them get on with their own jobs while we go in this transporter and deal with something else. A couple of eggs, which are that quick to deal with. And that's a pretty difficult thing to figure out what you're supposed to do there. But once you know, it's pretty simple. So we head towards a transporter that was near our start position and end up back in that place which I said we were going to. And then going to the top right corner of this map. And we'll find we've got a monster and some fungus to deal with. Now, you have to be fairly quick about getting some of these boulders to drop because if the fungus spreads before you do so, then it's just going to land or it's going to land on the fungus and get in your way. Now this last
last bit, we've got to coax into this bottom cage here, but we've got to make sure that we clear out the uh, diamonds at the last moment so the fungus doesn't spread into its path. And this is a pretty tricky with the random number generator here because you've got to make sure, or got to hope at least, that the fungus doesn't start to spread in your way when you're getting the diamonds there. Fortunately, it was on my side here. Not like in other levels we could mention. So that's nearly the end. We just need to deal with this monster, which is simple and you know how. And then we'll finish it all up. You can see at the start we have a cage with a rock on top. We want to make sure that rock doesn't drop straight down because otherwise it will block off the safe that it's next to there. So uh, there's a spirit in there which we're going to let out but it takes a while to get around the level so we can collect a few diamonds and let that spirit out there. Now as I said that rock if we let it drop straight down will block off that safe so we just kind of stand in the way. Area up to the left, obviously, there, but we can leave that to a little bit later. So, here there's another spirit which we're going to let out. And uh, we're kind of killing some time because he needs to be in the right place when we're in the right place. goes into the spirit to the uh, cage that's right below him. We get the key and transports somewhere else. Now we can't do very much in this room because rock is blocked by some earth. And no we're not going up there quite yet. Oh yes we are. There we go. silly thing to do. The spirit could have got confused. Kind of rung ahead to get rid of these diamonds while we wait for it to be where we want it to be. around and our time limit's pretty tight so we want to waste as little time as possible. Unfortunately these spirits do take a long time to get to their destinations. I didn't pick up those diamonds by that fungus because I tried that in one run and actually managed to get blocked off when the spirit actually got to the cage. There we go, we're uh, all done now. Yes, and go the right way to the exit, ramps on. You know which way to go. There's another little trap before we get out of here. They're not too complicated. And to the exit. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.